What's up, everybody? All right here with another Greedland video. I just want to uh, get something out of the way real quick. I had made an observation after I had played this game that Greenland Greenland uses some of the same sound effects as yet another zombie survivors, especially the whole level up sound. And I just like I kind of called it out. I thought that was a little suspicious, but it was kind of brought to my attention that a lot of these smaller indie devs purchase these asset packs just for like sounds and graphics and things like that. And so it's very possible that that's what they did with this game. And so until otherwise, until we hear otherwise from anybody, we're just going to keep playing Greedland because I'm not going to be the person to make that call. I I'll admit my my that I'm naive and ignorant about all this, about development and all of that stuff. So until there's like an official word, uh, I'm not going to be the one to make that call, obviously. So we're going to keep playing this game. So with that out of the way, I feel like I didn't quite give this game enough justice the first time I played it. I didn't understand. Well, I didn't necessarily didn't understand, but we are still learning the game. And now that I have learned a little, hold on, I'm going to put this sound down. Now that we learned a little bit more about this game, I feel like this game is really good. There is a lot, a lot in this game in terms of customization, um, just a lot of unlockables. There's a lot, a lot of content in this game. And I'm I'm really impressed with how much there is. So let's I just want to kind of we went over a lot of it before, but there was some of this I didn't recognize before. So if we go to the map, each of these, they play in the same area. So they're all the same kind of environment, but I didn't realize they all had, they did have challenges, but they all have different challenges. If you select the noon, dusk, and midnight, they all add different difficulty to the game. And then on top of it, each area has its own difficulty associated with it. So like jungle area four, enemy health is increased. Jungle area three, there's more enemies. Jungle area two, it's standard enemies. And they all have different times. They all have different different challenges associated with it. So just in just in your level selection, there's a lot, a lot of variety here. I I was really impressed. And then obviously we went over all this like you have your power armors. You can upgrade all your power armors. Every class has two passive abilities that you unlock, which is, again, pretty impressive because there's a lot to do here. So let's see, we can activate this character now. So let's activate him. And then each of them, some of this is going to be repeat of what I did before. A lot of these kind of fill a role like you have a tank, you have mastermind who's kind of your master of all like he does a little bit of everything. He does weapons and equipment. Uh, Valkyrie likes to summon nukes and airdrops. Guardians, your tank. Uh, Fury is going to be your your weapon guy ranger is going to be your skill guy and vanguard is kind of like another all-around character uh and then here's where it starts to get i went over this again too we have these mods which again you can upgrade these so you can make your mods stronger so this one's going to increase all your damage uh five percent per level so we can upgrade it and now we're going to add so now we're going to have 10. We can upgrade it again. Now we're going to have 15%. So every one of these, there's a lot of different mods. You unlock more mods as you play the game. And I didn't realize that. So we're like, I unlocked the high level mod. I unlocked the boss data mod. And so these are all different mods that you can unlock while you're playing. You can have different loadouts. And then on top of it, there's the missions. So this is how you're going to level up your character. We need to complete these three missions. We need to complete a run with Power Armor Ranger. We need to kill 200 enemies with the back watcher. And then we have we need to complete Jungle Midnight. So I need to do a Jungle Midnight run one time. But it's the depth of this game is just crazy. And then on top of that, we have <laughs> we have all our weapons. 
we have all our weapons every single one of these gets an upgrade so you can upgrade the damage so i use the assault well i actually started using the scatter gun because i like the scatter gun so if we upgrade this boom more damage boom more damage okay so now we have a scatter gun three um there's air support i haven't unlocked this yet so this is what we're going to get soon and then again the titan mechs are coming soon so that's kind of the gist of this game um let's jump into the jungle i'm gonna do hold on let me check um so i just need to complete jungle midnight one time so let's do the easy one let's do jungle area one so number of enemies and strength are both low suitable for newbie but then i need to complete it at midnight so as night falls, enemies become more powerful. So they're going to become more powerful. And we're going to get a 20% bonus payment at the end here. So yeah, there's just... There's a lot to this game. It's really impressive how much there is to it. And so I, we're going to keep playing this game. So let's get started. Oh, and I did mention too... This game does have, last time I didn't realize it, but the game does have automatic fire. It does. So you can play this like any other game, uh, any other game in this, the genre, like the survival genre. Uh, you do have to, un you have to unlock the mod though, and you have to level it up. So that's kind of why there was a little bit of confusion about that. Because it's not just an automatic feature. It's, it's something you do need to unlock for your character. So now you can see I'm doing it. And what's cool is I can take over. Uh, okay, let's do... Let's do the plasma disc. See, so I can take over and I can manually aim and move how I want to. So you can just do it seamlessly. Really nice. So if you need to clear a path, you can just... Okay, I'm clearing a path. I need to get out this way. Or you can let auto fire take over. Okay, isolation shield. This is gonna protect us for just a little bit. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about with this game and how it's gonna go moving forward. Um, let's do let's do max health. I want to make sure. I want to try to survive this. There's not a lot of abilities. I don't know if we're gonna unlock more because there's not really. You don't really know what you're gonna unlock because I don't know if it shows you what you get each level. But there's there's not a ton of different abilities to pick from while you're playing your game. There's only like really four or five of them. So I would like to see more of those, which I hope there is. I know we get our airstrike. The airstrike will definitely add a little bit more of a ooh. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is an airstrike. <laughs> so we just summon an airstrike. So now I guess these are going to drop for us in the game. Um, these are some of the airstrikes you'll be able to get in the future, but you'll be able to call it yourself. Okay, let's get that. I had actually never seen that before, so that's something new. But again, like a lot of what I love about this game is how you can customize your build to how you want it to be. Uh, with all those mods Let's do skill effect. So if you want it to get more health for your character and more Defense or if you want it to go full out Offensive firepower you can like increase your fire rate increase your damage If you want it to reduce your skill cooldowns and your skill power you can do that or you can have a little bit of everything It, it really is a lot of different customization options there. This game just this game has a lot, a lot of that. That's why I was I was so impressed with it the first time I played it. And then I started playing it a little bit more and I was like, oh, man, there's so much to this game. This game has so much to it. OK, let's come get this money. So the money is important to get. You want to try to get these. You need these for your upgrades. Basically to upgrade everything. I haven't even used my, my frost ring yet. I haven't really needed to, I guess. Okay, we're going to have another ice ring here, so we'll wait. Okay, now we'll use that. 
Okay. Let's do See like I'm not I'm not super impressed with the abilities you get in this game. Um let's do that, the Vulcan. So like the Vulcan you can hardly even tell it's a thing. It's it's this line that shoots from me. <laughs> right? Like you can barely tell that that's even an ability. Uh let's do movement speed. I don't know how hard night uh not Midnight is going to be. I haven't done it before. Oh, I need to get Backwatcher. I need to get Backwatcher. Because I need to complete that challenge. So next time we see the Backwatcher ability, we'll get that. Okay, let's do weapon damage. This is cool. I like it how the bombs drop, too. I, I didn't know they would do that. So we'll just summon that. So this is something you'll be able to do later in the game once we unlock it. I don't know how often we'll be able to do it, but it's something we'll be able to do eventually. Yeah, I don't I mean I don't know if we're gonna see this backwatcher one now. Um Let's do the attack range. So far our midnight is pretty manageable. But this is also only this is also the level one. Okay, let's get the magnetic field. Get those level ups. Um Sure, let's do that. Um, let's do the UAV. UAV again. Yeah, we got a huge energy source coming, so that's gonna be the boss. This guy right here. So you can see how my oops, <laughs> you can see how my bullets are bouncing off. That's one of my that was one of my mods that I picked. I picked the the bouncing one. Okay, so now we got a hyper core. These are your big power ups. Um, let's do. Cause I want to get, I want to get the back watcher. So I want to make sure that, although I'm not sure if we're going to, well, we might be able to still get some kills. We don't have to get 200 kills in one run. We just have to get 200 kills with it. Okay. We'll do the fire rate. Right now, this is pretty easy. We'll try. We'll try a harder run next. I wasn't sure how hard midnight was going to be. OK, we got the cluster bomb. But yeah, one of my one of my mods is that all all my guns will bounce off. So that's why I like this scatter gun because I think it pairs well with that. So now all my bullets are bouncing off, you know. It's a nice it's a nice little combo. And then if we can get if we ever unlock, we can unlock like a piercing um a bit upgrade in the game where it'll pierce through multiple enemies. That's that's really cool, too, because then we have a spread shot. That's all of a sudden uh, piercing through everybody. Uh, let's do the range, I guess. And then next game, we'll try the. 
Um, oh man, we still don't have it. Uh, we'll get it to Vulcan. Next game, we'll try the Ranger. If I have, I don't even know if I have the Ranger unlocked. Do I have the? I think I have the Ranger unlocked. We'll we'll run the Ranger next and see like what their abilities are. This guy has the Ice Frost, but I haven't. I don't really need to use it. Sometimes this game gets pretty nuts. You can get a lot of the times you'll be literally in the middle of just a hundred enemies and you just kind of have to slowly move your way out. It's it can get pretty intense. But that's that's on the slightly harder difficulties. OK, let's do the extra damage. Okay, we only have to survive two more minutes. Abnormal heat. Okay, so that's the abnormal heat. I think it's going to be this guy right here. He's kind of like a mini boss. Well, not really a mini boss. I don't even know what you want to call him. He's like an elite. Okay, we are starting to get swarmed a little bit here. Just a little bit. Okay, we'll do the weapon damage. Let's do, see, now we can do penetrate. So now it's gonna shoot through, gonna kind of shoot through a row of them and then it'll bounce off of them. Sometimes you can stack the penetrate. I've had a couple runs where I've had maybe two or three different penetrates. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, especially when you get in the more harder difficulties and there's just you're literally surrounded by, I don't know, hundreds. Hundreds of these guys. OK, we'll do equipment damage. A lot of experience around here. OK, let's do. Yeah, let's do two more plasma discs. So now we're going to have like six of them spinning around us. OK, we only have 30 more seconds. Unfortunately, we didn't get back watcher at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's let's try to get some back watcher kills here. We might. Yeah, we're going to get a few and we're not going to get a lot, but we'll get a few here. Uh, anything else? Yeah, back. Oh, two back watchers. Let's go. We're a little too late, though, but look, we already have 25 kills with it. We're going to get like 40, maybe. 34, 36. OK, we got 37 kills with the back watcher. And there we go. We beat the level. That was easy, but I think that's going to complete our jungle nightmare run. OK, and so then this is where you get your bonus. So like the more the harder you make it, the more gold you'll you'll acquire after. So we got a 20 percent bonus. OK, so let's see missions. Yeah, OK, so we completed that. It counted that. Cool. See, oh, I didn't even go over all this. I did in my first video, but look how many look how many achievements there are to unlock. It's 113 of them. It's so many. OK, let's upgrade our gun a little bit more because um, I do like this gun. So I think I'm going to kind of stick with this one for a little bit. OK, and then the power armor, we need to do the Ranger. But let's upgrade him a couple times. So d unfortunately, oh, I w man, I was literally just about to say, I think it only increases your durability, but it doesn't. Looks like it does something different every time. OK, that's it. I'm going to just do two upgrades because I don't know. What's which one's the Ranger? The Ranger is skill time. OK, so we'll do. 
So we're going to have, he's kind of your skill character. So we're going to have increased damages of equipment and then start the game with two UAVs. But you have to level them up. So we're only level two right now. Okay, so let's do, let's do one that has more enemies, this one. We'll keep it on normal. Um, I guess we can do this interval because the airdrop interval is kind of an easy one to do. That's not really that big of a deal. These ones are, these ones make it a lot harder for sure. Okay, so now we'll run the Ranger and we'll try to get the Backwatcher ability right away so I can get my kills with that. So I've never played this character, but this code oh, perfect right off the get. So we're going to utilize our skills more in this game. This is going to be a skill build. So when we hit LB, we're going to it's going to increase all our skills. It's got a pretty low cooldown about 15 seconds. Sweet. We already got two back watchers. Well, we're, we're definitely going to get the 200 kills this run then. So yeah, the one thing I want to see most in this game is just more abilities. I want to see way more abilities. There's really only the Backwatcher, the Discs, the Vulcan, the Shield, and then there's this, um, what's the other one? There's there's kind of like two shields. One of them protects you from damage, and the other one, um, the other one increases your, increases your damage when you shoot through it. Oh, there's also, I think there's a grenade too. So what was that, like six abilities? So I might as well just keep using it. See, like you can see how much it increases the firepower of that. Um, so skill, let's do skill effect. So that's going to increase our damage. For our skills. Okay, we got an airdrop, ice ring. Just use it. I don't know if you can save them or not. I don't know if they stay there forever. Okay, plas two extra plasma discs or one extra duration. Let's do the two extra. See, so we're already up to 86, 87 Backwatcher kills. So we're, we're definitely getting that quest complete. I like the quest too. Not a lot of these games kind of have these quests. I like the quests that you need. This is what you need to do to level up too. So you have to do them. There's no, there's no real way around it. You have to do these. <laughs> um, Skill time. Hmm. I don't really know that that would be for my dis, really. Let's do the skill strength. And that really buffs up the back watcher. Okay, ice ring. I hope we get a hyper core that lets us. Um, yeah, let's do the two extra discs. So now we'll have a bunch of discs. I hope we get the one that there's a hyper core that gives you plus two equipment. That's the one we want, because then I'll have I'll have whatever, however many back watchers I have, I'll have two more. <laughs> it's so good. And then if you have UAVs, we'll get two extra UAVs. OK, let's do the fire rate. It's now, oh, man, it's going to be firing so fast now, especially when we when we power it up. Okay, that's a level up. Let's um Let's go with the weapon fire rate.
Um, reduce 15% cooldown of skills or extra skill time. Let's do the weapon. If I wanted to be really effective, what I should have done is redid redid my mods uh, to be effective for a skill build. Because I don't think I did that. I think I'm mostly weapon still. But this is still the early stages of the game, so I don't think it'll I don't think it will matter that much. I hope not. Okay, see, oh, see, so now the back watcher can penetrate. Let's do that. Penetrate, I think, is really important in this game. Because I'm hoping you'll see why. Since I chose the one that has more enemies, um, maybe in, I don't know, like four or five minutes, we'll maybe see just a huge, huge swarm of enemies. And it'll be really hard to navigate through them all. Um, let's do the weapon damage again. So we should be getting a boss here in a few minutes or a few seconds. I think at the 10 minute mark, we see a boss. Okay, we're gonna save this over. Yeah, see, here's the boss. So we'll just. We're gonna drain. Yeah, we killed him so quick with that overload. <laughs> Alright, two equipment. Oh no, we're gonna get a respawn or we're gonna get 100% damage to weapons. Um. Yeah, let's do the respawn. You never know. And I wanna make sure I complete this run. Okay, let's unlock the UAV, sure. This game is still early access, so there's obviously a lot more they can add. Um, I really the things I want to see more is I want, definitely want to see more hypercore upgrades. I would love to see some more game changing ones that really affect how you play that are more than just stats. Um, I would like to see maybe some unique abilities that you can only get from those hyper cores. I think that would be really awesome. Um, OK, let's do this prism. And then we'll do. I guess I don't really need to do the back watcher anymore, but we'll still do that. Uh, movement speed, sure. So now whenever I shoot through this little prism, they're going to it's going to get a buff in damage. I'm assuming it works for my back watcher, too. So it should be it should be almost in effect the whole time to some extent. Unless it's just my main weapon, I'm not sure. Okay, so I think this is just going to be bullets that go through that, but let's do the max health. Oh, we got another cluster bomb. There's a couple different airstrikes, too, so I'm curious to see what the other ones are. Let's get the extra UAV.
All right, let's do UAV range. We're just going to we're going to buff up all our equipment as much as we can for the most part. Man, let's just get let's get all let's get all the abilities. It was it was kind of this game kind of clicked with me as soon as I realized like, oh, man, there is an auto aim in this game that made this game just way better for me. And there's um, so you can see I'm moving the same speed, whether I'm shooting or not. Well, you can't tell because I'm all I'm always shooting, um, but there is a mod where you can. OK, we're see we're starting to get swarmed now. Um, there is a mod that. When you're shooting, you move at the same speed as you always do, so you don't get a speed debuff. I think that's a pretty big one. Okay, let's do... I kind of want to do weapons a little bit. Okay, we'll do one extra. No, let's do equipment damage. See, so now we're, we're getting swarmed now. So now we got to kind of tread carefully through the mobs. This is where the other class comes in handy with the ice blast. Okay, I, where's that? Where was that guy? I hear he is because he gives us a level up. Um, let's do defense. Let's do penetrate more. See, so oh, see, so now you can kind of see it just shredding through these enemies. That's why I like the penetrate. You can just see it going right through the whole wave of them. Yeah, I'm going to there is a um, I haven't seen any health upgrades, though. Let's do UAV damage. <laughs> Penetrate again. No, let's do defense. Because I am I'm low on health right now, so I want to make sure 15% all damage. I want to make sure we survive this. So we're gonna pick a little bit more health upgrades. There's one where we can increase our health, we can regenerate our health, but I haven't seen that. Okay, if we can penetrate again. Uh let's do the damage. All right, let's do. Oh, we get an extra. Oh, or we get an extra prism. Oh, man. Let's do the extra prism. OK, now we're going to now we're starting to see the tougher enemies. Uh, these guys are going to swarm us for sure. These guys take a lot more hits to kill. So we're going to try. I think it's impossible to avoid the swarm at some point because I think eventually the game just tells you like, okay, you're going to get surrounded now. All right, let's do one extra grenade. Watch, I'm going to like talk up the difficulty of this game and we're not going to see it. I don't know, because I don't know if it's different every time. Or maybe it was just because I played on a different I was playing on like dusk difficulty, you know? OK, there's an ice ring. Let's hang out here for a little bit. Oh, I didn't realize I took a hit there. That's not good.
Oh my gosh, there's so many of these shooting guys now. We, This is where it's gonna, yeah, see, now we're definitely starting to get in trouble. I don't have any way of regenerating my health either, so I, I really have to make sure I'm dodging these guys. And there's a lot of them. Oh, yep, see, here, here we go. We're getting swarmed now. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, magnet. Oh man, and I didn't even get it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do extra damage. This is going to be kind of a critical moment in this game if we're going to survive or not. Um, let's do skill strength. It's going to come down to do being able to dodge these. <laughs> these. I don't even know what they are. Are they frogs? We gotta be. Oh my. Oh man. Oh man. We got, what, two and a half minutes? I can't take a lot more hits. Every once in a while, we'll see a, um, one of these airdrops will be a repair, but I've actually hardly ever seen that. Oh, wow. It's like it knew I needed it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Um, movement speed almost feels <laughs> pointless right now. Let's see, so this is where we need to kind of navigate our way out of this. Oh no, we're not going, shh. This is what I was talking about, guys. We need to kind of just slowly navigate our way up here. We have to avoid that boss too. I can't kill that, I there's another one up here like I can't oh man I really needed the ice ring right there all right let's do the penetrate right now and we'll do damage to the spinny things um let's kind of really buff up our spinning things um well actually this is a good one too let's penetrate more okay let's do defense So we have to kind of hang on for a minute and a half more. See, there's there's a boss over here to my left and to my right. We can't get near them. They'll they'll kill us, especially in a swarm like this. There's there's nothing I can do. I just kind of have to slowly survive and hope that I can kill them quick enough. Eventually, we'll be able to make our way out. The swarm kind of stops at some point. But I think the piercing is really helping. Okay, I nope. We keep getting the magnetic field. Um, let's do the extra prism. Three prisms will help. Um, amplify that strength. So now we should be doing a lot more damage through the prisms. We have three of them, and now we're going to be doing 25 extra percent damage. We only have to hold up for 30 more seconds. I'm just smashing LB, too, to get that power up. Okay, we're going to kind of make our way this way, because I don't want to get towards that boss. I don't, We're not going to be able to make our way out of here, but we only have to survive for 10 more seconds. And I think I, I do enough damage that we should be we're going to be able to hold out. See, so now here comes our ship to save the day. Hopefully. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man. Oh man, if we would have died right there. Oh, now we get... Wait, what is this? Is that the hyper crystal? Uh, or the hyper core? Oh yeah, now... See, so now we get... Oh, we get two... This would have added to our shots, or we can increase our equipment by two. So now you see I have... I had to have four... 
have four of those um, UAVs. And there we go. Level complete. That got a little dicey there. I'm glad we got that repair drop right in time. Okay, so return to base. Okay, so now we we completed the level up. So now we're normal too. Okay, so now we unlocked equipment enhancement, the desert, and the laser gun. So let's check it out. Um, I'm not gonna play anymore, but let's we'll kind of look at what we can do differently here. So number of enemies and strength are both low, suitable. Okay, so that's cool. So it's gonna give us kind of an introductory level. Uh, this one's gonna be a lot of movement speed. Enemy movement speed is re. Oh, our movement speed is reduced or enemy movement speed reduced. Okay, so those are gonna be the different ones there. Um, and then what else do we do? We can upgrade our equipment now. So let's see. So like the UAV, I think I can upgrade now. So now it's gonna do more damage. Okay, there is a couple more. There is a couple more. Okay, I see. There is a couple more equipments. There's an orbital cannon, a force field, and a raptor drone. So there's, okay, so there's at least three more abilities we can get while we're playing the game. And then we unlocked a new gun, right? We unlocked the laser gun. So it can shoot out lasers that not that are not only precise, but can also refract between enemies causing chain damage. Awesome. We'll try that in the next video. And then you can see we also we unlocked a new achievement. We we cost 10,000 G crystals. Again, the language barrier. I think we gained 10,000 or maybe we spent 10,000. But either way, we get 10,000 gold. So GG's us. All right, that's going to be it, everybody. This has been more Greedland. What what a fun game this is. It's it really has a lot to it. I'm I'm really excited about the future of this game. I'm just hoping that what I talked about in the beginning of the video holds up and that there's there's like no foul play with any of these games. Um, but again, that's my ignorance. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not going to not going to say anything more about it really it is what it is if it turns out to be something then we'll move on but until then we're going to keep playing it because this game is a blast i love it it's it's up there it's definitely jumped up the list with yet another zombie survivors is one of my favorite survivor type games so if you like it feel free to check it out use your own judgment if you want to get this game or not it's up to you but it is a very, very, very fun game. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.